And hey everyone, what's good? It's Collywood back again with another market adventure video here in Guangzhou, China at the fake markets, copy markets, rep markets, whatever you want to call it. From my last video, I got so much love and it seems as if you guys are just as excited about me being back as I'm about excited about being back here. And uh, yeah, got so many likes, so many comments, all this love and uh, today's video, today's gonna be a little different than the last one. Last one we focused mainly on sneakers you know, I love sneakers so much and I probably will get sidetracked and look at a couple today. But today's video is going to be more about focusing on the clothing side of things. All the luxury brands, you know, maybe some designer here or there. But we're going to see what the market has to offer. And yeah, let's get into it guys. Let's go. Now I'm going to head in a few different buildings that I didn't really go in last time. Because they're more focused on clothing, not really the shoes. These days you're dodging all the e-bikes and not just the cars, so I'm just waiting until I get hit. It's, it's about to happen. So we got the accessory people out here, some bags, Hello, take watches. Money. Hello, take some money. Take some money. Seems like a lot more tourists are out today as well. So I'm gonna hook it right here and uh, go through the back way. Off camera last time, I didn't let the video away. I came through the back way here. Nice scarves, bags. Don't get how people wear sweaters, it's really 25 degrees out. And humid, not just regular. I guess this one I could zigzag in. You see, there's a couple of lanes. Jackets got the product best. Thin. Looks similar, but doesn't feel similar. North Face. Mm -hmm. 
It is pretty humid. I am sweating. Some skins looking tight. Original copy. What's this? It's not bad. Yeah. Uh, this is one hundred and fifty. Yes. Thank you. Nice Gucci hats. Oh, kind of miss my Gucci hat back in the day. Uh, had a little bit too much to drink and left it at a restaurant. And, you know, wasn't paying attention. It was a nice tire Vietnamese restaurant. We were eating there with my wife and got up and walked away and. Ended up losing it. Mm. Some brands like Hermes and Dolce & Gabbana, Stone Island. The quality is really heavy. It feels like the original Stony I have. Yes. It feels a little lighter, but. Some essentials. Okay, just doing this homework. A lot of schools are out as of now. Louis Vuitton dry fit. No. One of the brands I'm supposed to be looking out for is D Squared, Balmain, and the sort. No. No. So cute. I have no children. Here we go, this one. Let's see what they got. More jeans. I'm looking for, like I said, D squared bone man. So that seems to just be their brand. Nothing too crazy. Apple watches. I don't know how I feel about buying an Apple Watch at uh, one of these locations. Yeah. Yeah. More women stuff than I regularly see. Screen <laughs> print Chanel. It's all dry fit though. That's uh, you know, cotton is normally the material to look for, not dry fit. We're coming up to some music, so now is a good time for me to just keep mumbling around. So, track suits of all time. Ooh, it's got like a velour touch to it. Like a Canadian tuxedo denim suit over there. Let's see what else. Let's keep going deeper and deeper. And this is still just the first building. Let me see. We got some more Stone Island over here. Yeah. Yeah, they're feeling heavy. The Essentials and the Stone Island. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. 
cooler thing is a lot of the models are actually not just bootlegged, they're actually models that they have once carried in the store. So you can definitely see that they're not just making bootleg stuff, they're making right up wraps. And uh, it's scary how good the quality is and how thick the materials have become. I don't know why though, the lower products like, uh, what do you say, the, the Nike Tech Fleas, like they don't have that on point, but they have the high woven like Stone Island and Givenchy and Louis Vuitton materials, they, they have it pretty much to par. No. Another in-house brand stuff, oh, a little bit of jerseys here. Jersey, you know, Dodgers. Now this is just limited compared to what they have at the, the, um, the fake market, the fake jersey market. Some really friendly people. Just keep asking about uh, how you're doing. Try to get you to come in, peruse or browse a little bit more than you know, just standing outside like I do. But I don't want to waste their time. I'm not buying anything. I'm just going on an adventure here. Oh, you got some Fendi. Fendi Evil Eyes. Yeah. Thing, like, I'm trying to be really polite. I did have a comment from the previous one saying, oh, you know, you're not really that polite. But if anyone talks to me, I try to respond. Too hot. Oh, I'm married. Blue hair. This is my mirror. Blue and grey. Hello, grey color. Yeah. Mirror tears. Green name will run here, but white, black, both. Green color. Green hair. Green Lelu. L size L. So, I'm gonna open this. Oh, I'm dropping it. I'm just gonna put it back. Thought it was a pair of shorts, but it's denim tee pants. I'm gonna get out of the way. I don't wanna interrupt. This one? Palm Angels. Palm Angels, Miami. It's a nice color. We have the looking for the classic Palm Angels that just has the Palm Angels down the back of the I'm gonna say the shoulders. This guy's got a sporting good story for an Arcterix. Alright, so there we go with this first little uh, section here. We're going to head out to the main buildings, the ones I usually spend most of my time in. I haven't been up there in a while, but it looks like it's more uh, women's clothing. Now, if there's a bunch of ladies watching this, from the statistics, it doesn't really seem like so. Maybe 5 to 10% are females. But if there's more, hey, tell me, do a women's uh, market tour, because a lot of it, there's so many different styles, so many different dresses, skirts, jeans, pants, everything. It's just overwhelming for me. And maybe I'll get one of my female friends to come along with me and they'll have a look and they'll tell you more about what it's like and what really catches their eyes. I can only be true to myself and what I really find appealing and eye-catching. So yeah guys, let's head to the next one. Hopefully I don't get it if I call on the way there. All right, so I went through the building over there the other time and it's not like it was years ago. That used to be like the hype beast building. They used to have Supreme, Bape, off-white, anything you could think of from that era that was like, you know, Lil Wayne-esque or like really hip-hop-esque a few years ago, that's what it has. Now in rap, they've kind of moved to this like drill era, this really aggressive era, and the guys just seem to be, you know, 
not really the streetwear brands or more just dressing a designer so I don't know what went on over there maybe they weren't making sales or maybe they moved more into the basement over here because back in the day the basement here was under renovations it was not nice it was horrible but the basement is kind of where it's at now so guys fits pretty nice got some easies on let's see if more stores are open now than they were before Definitely looks like it's a better time to come in. And at this point, if you see anything that really catches your eye, you know, you just let me know. And in the next one, I'll try to hop out and make sure that I catch it for you. Little kid putting some shoes on. Got all these orders packed in. The hallway, North Face. Oh, it's so puffy. Like, I wonder what down they use inside of it. Here we go. We got some Amiri jeans. This is Amiri on the back. Now, I really wonder what the sizing is for the jeans because for tall people, like someone like myself who's six foot, um, I don't know if they're China size. They, they're kind of. No, they look, they look long enough. This whole rack seems to be a Miri. What else? Yeah, it's all a Miri. So from last time, I didn't see a lot of a Miri. Now we're seeing a ton of it. it. Turns out when I usually really go looking for something, then that's when I find it. Let's see. Oh, denim tears. Some of it screen print and then some of it embroidered. Miri. Yeah. D squared? D squared yeah. yeah. Just here. So they have some D squared. This is Obian to the right, over right here. Yeah. Uh, D squared? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Uh, yes, yeah. Uh, okay, so that's. D squared. Purple brand. Okay. I haven't really educated myself yet in purple brand too much. Very popular or so-so? Vampires? -so? Popular. No. Very good? No? Mm -hmm. These square more popular? Yes. Uh-uh. Yes, yes, yes. The thing about denim tears, I don't get is like, I get they're going to copy it, but it's really not that expensive at retail. So the fact that people are going ahead and making copies of it, it's, I don't know guys, like, when things aren't that expensive, then. Right? He'll just walk right in front of you and just stare at you. Like, Come on. What else do we got in here? Some accessories. Looks more like girls. Put up line. Pretty cool. The material is nice. Nice and soft. Some moose knuckles up top. Yeah, it definitely, I guess, afternoon is where it's at. People came in today. It might just because. They want to make money before the holidays, but I also could just because this is the better time. Here we go, got chrome hearts. Well. Oh, the tagging is really good on it. I didn't expect. Wow, and the embroidery is really good on it as well. So it looks like this whole shop here is dedicated to, oh, there's a little bit of off-white. Off-white and chrome hearts. And I took around and then just gonna make sure of things over here. Oh, right to the winter jackets. You got North Face, you got Montclair jackets, Burberry jackets. Then you got Montclair times 
But I don't think they ever made that collab. Dior. <laughs> Monk Hood jackets. I couldn't get in this guy's face while he's eating. I hate when I'm eating and then people are just hovering right over me. Kind of, you know. Oh, it's, in, it's invasive. Oh, damn. They really got some nice imbalances over there. But like I said, focus today is more on the clothing. Dior jacket. Wow. Y3 bag, more jackets. So, one of the jackets are pretty popular. I'd say they do have a lot more um, t shirts and shorts and that type of stuff. Because this year it did not get that cold here. It's still, like I said, 25 degrees and it's January. Um, yeah, it's hot. I mean, I'm from Toronto, so I'm used to the cold. And I've, I've got a lot of winter clothing here. Got some Kenzo in there. I don't know if you guys can get a quick look. There's certain items I've been looking for just to see if they have copies of it and I have yet to run across them. Same thing if you throw up uh, Taobao. If you check on Taobao, there's a, some people are selling some things but they're really not supposed to. The government you know, says this stuff is uh-uh. You know. At the end of the day, all the stuff is not okay, but it's pay the money, pay the money, you know, that's, that's the saying, you pay the money, and then it's harsh, harsh. Okay, we got to hit the left here. Uh, that's the way back to the stairs in the cafeteria. Oh, look at that. So, let me see the boots and shoes. Oh, nice one. Oh. Like I said, I, I'm gonna turn around and see a few bits. Oh, that's soft. Wow. That's great quality. Okay, head this way now. The music is blasting, so once again, I just gotta keep talking to it because you know, I want this video to stay up. I don't want any problems to come with it. Uh, what else? We got with us. I went through all these shops the other time I was here. Forward and clothing so far a little bit of a letdown. Um, that's what I'm gonna say because I don't know, even though more shops are open, it seems like there isn't the biggest selection I see. Two of those have no in the center. Yeah, I yeah, said thank you. We're just saying hello though. I'm good at eh? Audi jackets. Okay. It doesn't feel as waterproof as it should. Um, but who knows? I would love to get one from one of these shops, stand in the shower, and see how it holds up. If I ended up getting soaked, or if I didn't, that, that would be a good short, good fun short to do. Pushing the boundaries. I like his little miniature sneaker display there. And I love how people carry their sneakers. Just put it in the bag and drag it through the halls. Oh, okay. the guys already asking for me to change money. You know, guys trying on shorts inside or pants inside, seeing if it fits. A lot of the time, they usually they used to get you to make a place in the order. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. It's getting pretty crowded in here. It's just almost time to head upstairs. I think today I'm a little more organized in my zigzagging through the halls. It's not as chaotic as I was the other day, it turned around. But I'm also not as overwhelmed as I was when I first came here. Uh, I kind of got a thing. I've 
kind of seen what it's here for and what I can expect. So, yeah, a little more organized, I'd say, this time. What do you guys think? See, last time I was here, it's only a couple of weeks ago, I rarely saw any chrome parts. And then this time today, the shops are open and it's everywhere. Now, I'm not a huge fan. I've never actually been into a chrome parts store. And from what I'm told that you go to a chrome parts store, you have to pay to go in. And that's kind of a cool concept, but... Okay, here we go, the Stone Island. This is probably one of my favorite ones to have a look at. It's missing the patch on the side. The t-shirts are pretty cool. I'll have to come back another time there. There's always another day, another time to come back when it's a little less busy and I'm looking forward. Okay, so here I'm going to hook up left because I think it's really busy up on that ramp. You know, I did see a girl wearing one of the Arcteric shirts that I bought, the Corporal Bird shirt, which was probably the first piece I ended up picking up from them. Um, I ended up paying the resale for it because those things sell out. And they also don't tell you when they release the you stock. It's just like, boom, one day they're out, and then the next day they're gone. Not, not even the next day, the same day they're gone. And I barely ever see anyone wearing them around. This is Dior, Dior Year of the Dragon, but that's supposed to be a Miri with the blue dragon. Unless Dior made one. Um, actually, I don't really follow Dior products that much to know if that is actually a thing. Hello, what do you guys think? Have you seen certain trends that are keeping up to what is really popular right now? Um, Gucci shirt up at the top there. I've seen some of the trends, but I don't know. Uh oh, Jinxie! Uh -oh. Little girl dropping her purse. White three, Mary. Just the white, plain Mary shirt. Y three. I didn't see Y three other. I oh, I didn't see Y three. Also, last time I came around, so maybe. There's something more to have on. This girl's got a little pod going up there. Either live streaming or just having a look herself. Jeez. I want to go look at the jackets, but I'm actually sweating so much right now. It's really hot, so I'm going to stay away from having a look at the jackets. I think if it was colder, I think I'd feel in a better So this is one of the ones that was closed the other day, and then upon opening it, it, it's actually not as cool as I expected it to be. When you have a big cos mural on the front window, you expect it to be, you know, pretty streetwearish, pretty pipeish, but it's not. And this one got a denim tears, but it's screen printed. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I need to update myself on a lot of these trends. I did spend like an hour or two the other day looking at some of the designs. You know, you know if things are screen printed, if they're embroidered, patchwork. One more face. Canada Goose. It's kind of a good color, I'd say. This guy got his little snack shop still in here. Underwear. I mean, it doesn't look. <laughs> The most appealing underwear. I don't think I would buy any of that for my wife, but hey, maybe it is for someone. Let's see. One shoe I haven't seen around a lot is the Air Force One Louis Vuitton, the all-white one. 
Let's see, he has the white and black one over there. Um, but not the all white one. He knocked the golf. It feels kind of kind of right, like a dry fit. Let's see what they have in here. Did I come in here last time? Pretty good. No. Nothing jumps out of me right of the way. I saw they had some Amiri shoes and some off-white shoes, but yeah. If I'm really missing anything, I, once again, I'm only one man. I need you guys to jump out and say, hey, go look at this, go back, check that, and then hopefully those items are still around when I come back. Um, but they should be. I don't think the trends really change that much. And I don't think things go out of style or out of trends that fast here. So things to keep around. And if they don't, I can go around and see if they'll bring it back in just to have a better look at it to see how shocking some of the quality is. the first little bit of vape stuff I saw in the back there. There hasn't been a lot of that. I mean, there used to be shark hoodies everywhere in here. And now, not so much. I don't really see any shark hoodies. Guy had a lot of makeup on. Where did that place go? That's how the cool people are. Maybe it, was, oh, maybe it was someone shopping out. One of the actual workers in here that had the Coco Bird a Carrick shirt on. That's, that's a shame. Alright, what else? I'm really jumps out at me. I'm gonna head out to the back corner here, and then we're pretty much done with the basement floor. I'm not one to wear like a, a jean upper, but some are. Gucci made it early year of the dragon. Ooh. You want a towel shirt? Do a parlay. Mm. And then one last shot in the back here. This guy looks like he has some fire. <laughs> no, I stepped into that one last time. Now I remember it. It came back to me. Um, okay. Let's hit this aisle here and then swoop back right to the front. Okay, yeah. I came from this way already. All right. Time to go up to the second floor. Have a look at the second floor and then head up to my favorite floor, which will be the second. Even though, I don't know, I think I like the basement more than anything now. So, tell me what you guys think. First floor, second floor, or basement? Which, is, which do you prefer? I, uh, the basement gives a run for the money, but second floor, I don't know, holds a place to learn from what it used to be. Okay, here we go. Okay, when talking about fashion, usually the first floor is the least to go to. The first floor is usually stuff that catches your eye nice and quick, um, but the fashion designer shoes usually have a place on the first floor. So... So those there are the, the rarest colorway that came out. I think if you check on resale sites like StockX, I think they're selling for well over 5,000 USD. Um, this guy's got a lot of blazers in here. Yeah. That vest is heavy. It's like a leather vest. I don't know. I need some cold weather to wear that in. Mm -hmm. 
pull up. We got the incense again popping up. Basic Gucci shoes and Louis shoes. It's a basic thing that people would be looking for on average. I'm going to take a picture of this. <laughs> Alright, I just had to stop for a second and grab a picture of that because that one is not out yet. That comes out, it's supposed to be out in February. Um, but that's the first time I've seen it actually inside of the outlet or that's the coffee markets. Now, one thing I did not see yet is any Eric Emanuel. I mean, his shorts are so big, yet I haven't seen them anywhere. This is probably at uh, Valencia. I got an essential fear of God hold on the shelf. No. No. Can I uh, see this one? Jika? Jika? Okay. Would you like to be for you know, a nice dress shirt like that? Well, this place sometimes you can argue it down, but not all the time. You can uh, get people to move the price down because it, it's more of a wholesale place, and they know that you know a lot of foreigners come here. It's, it's a tourist attraction for people from all over the world. Um, so when they tell you a price, it's it's pretty fair, but I don't know. 40, 40 Canadian dollars or like 32, 35 American dollars for that. Ooh, look at that, we got the Masashi. Yeah. I was looking at that one, I'd say, hey, so I would like the, the black one. That's some women. The kids shoes. This we can get all the patches made. Mm -hmm. I guess you don't even get the patches made. I guess you just <laughs> buy the straight up patches there. You get every single patch you can imagine. Well, I mean, I don't get why people would buy the patches anymore because buy everything here the quality that's what they're looking to do Perfume shop uh, is a club and it has the beats going on compared to other places but have the actual beef and nice stuff. Incense and uh, perfume, but that's where it's at. Oh, 
last time I was saying the hat shops were all closed. Here's one of them. But this whole aisle back here used to be hat shops. Oh, we got some Ibisu. Oh, sit back soon. So I'm not gonna interfere. This is definitely one. I'll have to come back to another day. But Ibisu, D squared, a bunch of purple and purple green. Good selection. Yeah. Definitely have to come back in the summertime and grab a hat. These robes really intrigue me. Oh, we got the black one. Let me check the price. Yeah, uh, how much? Three hundred. Three hundred. Okay, thank you. I'm pretty sure she said three hundred. I don't think she said three thousand. <laughs> um, she said 3,000, that is just ridiculous. Um, well, I'll have to check the footage later and see what she said. A lot of people complain that I didn't get prices last time, but you gotta understand that's not the intention of why I do these videos. I do these videos as an adventure, a market, and you guys can pretend you're here like me. I'm not doing all the exporting of that, you know, I, that's, you guys kind of missed the disclaimer at the very beginning if you, uh, if, if you ask those questions. I mean, I know no one wants to watch from the beginning, I mean, not, I don't say no one, but I know not everyone, a very few of you, there is a good percentage that actually did watch the whole way through, and thank you so much for that support, guys, but, yeah, um, there is a disclaimer, so, I'm just saying. Okay. He's coming out in China in a few days. I think this Saturday actually. We passed by the time this comes out, but I, I find it crazy. I always like to see stuff that is early. A lot of those early, early pair of people, early pair of YouTubers. I am not one of them. But I mean, there's a good chance you could see stuff here early. Okay. So I turned myself around a bunch of times. Um, Let's cut here and let's head up to the second floor. All right, here we go up to the second floor. So it's got all the vape inside there, but yeah, we're, we're sticking to fashion stuff today. Um, I mean, everything is fashion, but more on the high end scale of stuff, the luxury stuff, designer stuff. One thing I didn't see though, as I was walking through, I haven't seen an accessory store like there used to be. There's a street place that had some, but sure. not as many as before. So 
up here it seems to be a lot of heavier stuff. Um, so I guess that's whew, it's so hot. All these heavy clothes, like uh, winter stuff, doesn't seem to uh, help. It just insulates all the heat. Hello, Jim. Just spending an hour here, a lot of the things start to feel the same and look the same. So maybe next time I'll start up with the second floor and go down to the first and go down to the basement. That way, when I'm walking around, I'm a little more fresh and I have a better idea of things I'm more interested or walking towards. Let's see what we got over here. Oh, it's still the same over here from years ago. But nothing crazy. This shop used to have everything crazy, everything that I would like. It doesn't seem to be that way anymore. This girl's just jamming out. She's rocking to her music there. I'm going to let her head back this way. I'm a simple man. There's only simple things I was looking for. Things that keep fresh to me and stay fresh in my mind and I have not seen those items. But I mean, finding a specific item in here, unless you walk around to each person showing them your phone with a picture of it, is pretty much like finding a needle in a haystack because there's just, there's so many options. But that's not to say we don't find something interesting every single time. Myself with it now. The first little bit of root I saw anywhere. Okay, we gotta turn back around this highway. Oh, wait, not highway. And go back to the other side, but. I think uh, that's done even for this side, but let's head back to this side. Walking around in here, my backpack's still in my back, and I just, well, it, my back is drenched, it's just completely soaked.
Venom Tears outfit and some spider. Once again, last time I was here, it was only a couple weeks ago. I saw a lot more spider in Venom Tears. I mean, I'm forgetting, yes, the basement had a ton of it, so I can't just bypass that. Just gotta be really careful with all the kids because uh, it wouldn't be the first time I've had to die and not <laughs> trip over a little kid. It's, it's kind of happened almost quite often in my life. That's what happens when you hit the six foot plus height. Even though recently when I went for uh, my health check to get my work visa here, um, they said I was only 182 centimeters, which is a complete lie. I'm minimum 188 centimeters, not 182. Yeah. I'm walking back this way because there's one sneaker shop that I wanted to walk by. Maybe through here. I like this. Just looking. Head up this way. Go down to the back end here and then back up there, and that's probably it because technically we were on the split level second, split level third. This is where all the lower end stuff and food shoes used to be back in the day, and it looks like it's still like that. It's just, this place, I mean, to each their own. Some people might want to walk through here and find something, but to me, is I mean, I, they must pay a little bit less rent on this side. And it seems to see that the people coming to the side to you know buy in bulk or export or whatever they're they're not the people from the developed countries or countries where you know to have wealth. It's the people who like to say. When I see polos, I get a little bit inquisitive. I just smack them back there. Trying to get blood flowing, that's one thing. Um, kind of people should do a couple push ups and squats. Instead, to get the blood flowing, they just start smacking the area. Smacking their legs, smacking their back. Straight smacking. Shout out Milwaukee. I like that right there, a little best. All right, there we go. So it's time to head up to the split level third floor. And then after that, there's really nothing to be seen. Unless you're doing wholesales and buying these like, blanks for your own brand or shipping somewhere. But most places in the world, once COVID happened, they started to do a lot of manufacturing themselves. They don't really, you know, wholesale blanks anymore. Did you guys, where you live, do the people wholesale blanks or? Um, drop a comment below. I haven't asked for a lot of comments this whole video, so if that's a thing, just drop it below. Alright, so that does it for another market adventure video. Hope you guys saw things you wanted to see. I don't know, what do you guys think? It was a little hectic today. It does seem like coming later on in the afternoon. There's a lot more shops open, but there's also a lot more people out and about today. Um, don't know if that's because it's close to Chinese New Year, but there's also a lot more tourists or foreigners or just people perusing. So anyways, guys, 
that's it for me today. Until next time, like, comment, subscribe. Definitely leave a comment on something you want me to see or go back and check. Uh, and until next time, take it easy.